the theater is the home of the performing arts in Vancouver. Today, a sports art form that bears little resemblance to the theatrical and musical groups that have been center stage in the past will take place inside this building. Today, the hot item is muscles, as athletes from across North America compete in the Mr. North America Bodybuilding Championships. In just a few moments, they'll be flexing their biceps, triceps, quadriceps, and any other seps they might have. There are three classes in the competition, the light or short, the medium, and the heavy or tall. Backstage at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre, a big crowd, a capacity crowd on hand. From Windsor, Ontario, Mark Thomas. Thomas is 30 years of age. He manages his own gymnasium. And at the 1974 Mr. Canada, he won the short or light class. This is Mark Thomas from Windsor a third place competitor in the light class. Now from Edmonton, Ray Boilu. Ray is 27 years of age. He works as a maintenance man for Air Canada in Edmonton. And he won the 1976 Mr. Alberta and Mr. Waikiki Beach in 1975. These incredible muscles are on a five foot two inch, 150 pound body. And Ray began bodybuilding to help him when he was playing hockey. At the age of 27, He's just beginning to get into his prime in this particular sport. Yeah. Big gallery, of course. Huge crowd, really. And here is 41-year-old Henry Cox. The television viewer gets an even better look at this magnificent specimen than those assembled at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre. Anybody tell your body will go fat after 25, you know it's not true. Certainly for anyone over 40, Henry has to be an inspiration. He came to Canada a few years ago. It's a pro wrestler. And by the way, he's also one of Calgary's top rugby players. Winner in the light class, Henry Cocker, formerly of England, now living in Calgary. Ray Ballou took second place in this division with Mark Thomas of Windsor in third place. Henry Falcon, 40 years old, Ridley Ming. Henry Falcon. The next division to compete the medium class, five feet six to five feet 11 inches. Warming up backstage where they do a lot of work to get ready. From 
Windsor, Ontario, Art Barker. Art is a pre-med student at the University of Windsor, and he began bodybuilding to strengthen his legs for sprinting in high school. He won the 1976 Mr. Canada. He's one of the finest posers in the contest. Some moves by Art Parker. The competition calls for considerable preparation backstage before they go up for those few seconds when they are judged by the seven judges. This is a magnificent performer. From Washington, D.C., Mike Menser. Second in the 1976 Mr. Universe in Montreal. Look at that back. The winner in the North American Bodybuilding Championship medium class from Washington, D.C., Mike Menser. Also judged to have the best arms and the best legs. And now the big fellas get ready to go to work. The tall or heavy class over 5 feet 11 inches. And the little guy will be out there himself someday. Dave Dupre is 29 years old. He's from Los Angeles. He trains at Gold's Gym, the mecca of bodybuilding there. He's won the Mr. International and Mr. Pacific Coast.
Darcy is another great poser. Thanks to Darcy's success in the MVP contest, he's landed a government post in Barbados. Taking care of support. This 27-year-old from Bridgetown won the 1976 Mr. World, was runner-up in the tall of the 1976 Mr. Universe. He's considered to have one of the finest back developments in the sport. Winner in this year's tall or heavyweight class from Barbados, Darcy Beckles. Dave Dupre was second. Now the overall winner. The greatest bodies in North America assemble on the stage for the presentations to overall champions. And look who comes out to steal the show. Well, everybody gets into the act. There is the overall champion, Mike Mentzer from Washington, D.C. This award is a two tickets to Australia with stopovers in Hawaii and Fiji, Mike. Darcy Beckles of Barbados was second overall, and Dave Dupre was third Just overall. Like congratulate you on a tremendous championship. Ray Ballou was most muscular. Now the champ. Mr. North America for 1977, Mike Manser of Washington, D.C. And Mike, uh, I understand you're a medical student. Does this help and assist in the development and the understanding of the muscles? Well, certainly a bodybuilder has to have a knowledge of all the muscles, but uh, that's not why I chose medicine, no. <laughs> Did uh, you get into uh, the body development aspects of it because of medicine or vice versa? Well, I got into bodybuilding, and that led to, of course, an intense interest in the body, and uh, it developed, of course, into my present uh, status as a student in medicine. How many hours a day do you have to work to develop a physique like that? Well, most bodybuilders train at least three hours a day, six days a week, but I only train a total of three hours a week. Okay, what do you do during those hours? Train very hard. What type of training? Working mainly on weights? Yeah, barbells, dumbbells, so forth. What's the most you lift? Uh, about 1,200 pounds. Let's see you flex those muscles one more time. Just a nice close-up shot here for that arm development. Now, let's see. Let's, let's compare. No, I'll put mine behind you, and you'll cover the whole thing. <laughs> okay, Mike, what are you going to do in the future now? Obviously, you've got a very heavy schedule with the medical studies. Uh, what are you going to do as far as uh, bodybuilding is concerned? Uh, well, the two are starting to conflict, so one of these days I'll have to make a decision, either bodybuilding or medicine. Okay, now, some people are obviously going to ask, after you give up bodybuilding, what happens to the muscles? Do they begin to sag? No, not at all. As long as you... Uh tailor your diet to your activity need demands, uh, your muscles just shrink and atrophy back to normal size. Mike Matzer, congratulations, a tremendous development and a tremendous accomplishment, Mr. North America for 1977. This is Don Whitman reporting from the championships in Vancouver. <laughs>